Hey guys, Beck here. Today I have brought you guys to a pretty creepy place in Brisbane. It's uh, Walston Park Mental Asylum. It's closed down, as you can see. Um, we used to be able to access this place and uh, there was no fence around it. And the history of this place has been hidden, most of it. There are a couple of stories floating around on the net. Well, they were a few years back. Oi, do not go near those roos. Stay with me, good dogs. Um, as you can see, there are many, many. These are Eastern Grey kangaroos, heaps of them here. I came here looking not really so much at the, um, there's a big boy. You see the big boy standing next to the shed there? Hey, Skep. Not so much to look at the old mental asylum here. That's not really why I'm here. I came here because I wanted to see if I could find any strange kind of relics, old relics or such. <laughs> look at these two. They look like... They look like they're joined together. How funny is that? How funny is that? Can you guys see? <laughs> oh, that is, that's a cracker. <laughs> and they're looking at Jazzy going, what are you doing? We better get to the back of the building, otherwise we may get in trouble. Okay, this is off limits. I come in peace. Oh, big papa kangaroo, I wish you no harm. Please don't come and beat me up. Bo, stay with me. <laughs> oh, kangaroos will, they will attack. Don't you worry. They look all happy and nice. Oh yeah, they're... Some of the size of these fellas just here, even though they're only Eastern Greys, you should see the big reds, but look at the size of the arms on that guy. I mean, they will give you what for. Okay, this is really creepy. This is an old incinerator that was, you know, part of the asylum. And, yeah, so what I actually come wanted to look for was down by the river here. I don't know how far down I can get, but to see if there's any relics because there's two things here that there's a the asylums built here and there's a golf course and we know that golf courses hide a lot of things <laughs> look at this it's the whole mob hey guys the mob is stirred they are gonna go on the are you gonna all attack me at once because if you do, I probably don't stand a chance. <laughs> no, they'll be fine. I just, this big guy at the front here, he's going, yeah, I'll protect you all. There's lots of joeys. Those, those smaller ones have joeys in their pouches. She's got a joey. She just, look, he's pretty big. So, yeah, they're just there. I mean, they're okay. I hope. <laughs> oh, well. I am protected. I do. I've always believed it. I know it. I'm sure of it. I am nothing special, believe me. But I carry with me a message in my heart. And that message is that God is real, guys. He's real. Wake up. Repent, people. Judgment is coming. As you can tell, I'm in a, in a in a fairly jovial mood. As I'm at an insane insane asylum, I'm just going to go and check myself into the funny farm. I'll be back. 
No, this place is really creepy. I've actually been in there. I didn't go in too far and, you know, I'm brave and I was just freaked out. Absolutely, wow, look at those patterns. I was absolutely freaked out when I did go in there. And mind you, the first thing we went into was the incinerator, you know, so that didn't help much. No, they're not following me. We should be okay. But what I wanted to look for, because there's a golf course behind me as well, was to see if there's any, you know, artifacts. Um, this is the Brisbane River. Okay. And I did look from over there. There's a golf course. And I parked over there before and had a look back this way. And down beyond me here is a wall. Now, there's no way Bo's going to be able to get down there and back up, which is really unfortunate. Because I'd really like to go down and have a look, see down there. But we'll just come up here a bit further. Let's just, you know, we never know what we might stumble across. Um, I do have some places in mind that we all have to go. But I cannot take the dogs because they're just not not accessible for a dog. I don't know why my screen is so dark. But I thought, oh, well, this is fairly flat here. Bo can walk along. Oh, he, here's more of the mob. Oh, they're following me. I tell you what, I reckon they're going to ambush me. They're on top of the hill. They're getting ready to ambush so what I would be interested in is having a look what's down here, guys. Mm, this is all rubble. Could be, you know, part of a building that they've torn down because this is definitely here has been built out. What I'm standing on is actually... Feel, you know, like it's um, <clears throat> an old building or something. That is. Let's just have a look up here. Not supposed to be here. Uh -oh. oh well. Oh, tunnel. <sighs> to go in there. So, I was hoping to stumble across something like like we did the other day at Salisbury and we're going to go back up and have another really good look at that I will go up there by myself because that way you know I can get in and out of places so don't have anybody to worry about yeah you know how you just worry about people when you're with them oh here we go <laughs> check it out hi guys and I'm being watched by three men on a... There they are. Cool. All right, let's go. Come on, dogs. Um, so I'm not sure what's up here. I really don't know. I know I shouldn't be here, but those blokes don't have the right to tell me to go. So that's pretty cool. So, look at all the vine everywhere. Look at it. It's just killing all the trees. It's crazy. Now that's a mob of kangaroos. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, so here we go. Here's an old. Uh -huh. Old sort of substation of some sort. <clears throat> Here's where they used to chop some of their wood. That's some very, very old dried out wood there. This fella's just hanging. 
I don't think he's seen me yet. Jazzy, stay with me. You don't want to get beat up. Yeah, I mean, this has been here for years and years and years. And, <clears throat> wow. Wow. That is really deteriorated. Whoa, that's a big mushroom. Oh, no, that skippy mightn't be well. Oh, there it goes. It's getting up. It's all right. Oh, and here we go. Here's a track to the river. Okay, Bo, how are you going to hold up? Are you going to be able to do this? Look at them, they're just everywhere. He's plodding along. Like, he's all good downhill, isn't he? But then we got to get back up. Uh, I reckon you could do it, mate. It doesn't go that far. Come on. And he's going, uh, do I really have to? Oh, what? Are you going to come and tell me to get lost? No? Good. See ya. <laughs> uh, you're not allowed here anymore. It's like big signs. Private property, do not enter. Yeah, okay, so what are you hiding? Nah, I won't take him down there, guys, but anyway, a bit of fun. I thought I might like to show you these roos because look how many of them there are. Let me zoom in, please. <laughs> They're just all looking at us. What's up, Skip? What's that, Skip? What time is it? <laughs> uh, the best show we ever had on Australian television was Skippy. I don't know if you ever guys got that in America. Skippy the bush kangaroo. <laughs> it was actually filmed not far from where I used to live. And if we go back and have a look at Skippy, there is a lot of ancient sites in Skippy because um, one of my subs on that last video I did at Salisbury, he said that there was a guy called Rex Gilroy who had found very similar things in Australia. And I looked up Rex Gilroy. Thank you to that subscriber. And... He died 14 days ago. Can you believe that? We just find the guy and he died. So I did a bit of more digging and I got his phone number and I rang his wife and I gave my condolences to his wife and we started talking about some of the sites that he had found and I sent her my Samford video. I also sent her the Salisbury video. I uh, emailed them to her, so I'm waiting to hear back from her what she thinks. But she's, she's grieving. I mean, she's just lost her husband of 50, 60 years or something. And Rex was really big into... Um, Yowie's Bigfoot but on his adventures looking for those things he found many megalithic sites he actually found the Gimpy Pyramid which is now apparently as Heather Gilroy told me has a road over the top of it now it is no longer there you can't even go and look around the site because there is no site it's totally built Built over the top of it. Um, she did not know about Samford Valley, which is very interesting that Samford has been hidden. Um, 
I think I might go to the state archives and see if I can find anything out about Samford Valley through the state archives. This is a bit of a bit of a big bend in the river here. But um, it was raining when I got here. So it was really amazing to find out about Rex Gilroy and then within just over a week he had died and it would have been amazing to speak to him and because she she said to me I was the practical one Rex was the one that was you know really disorganized always going out looking for spots always doing this and that and she said that you know, a lot of the sites and that she doesn't know offhand that she would have to go through a lot of paperwork to, to find out where some of these hidden sites are. Okay, what's making all this noise here? And I don't mean to be morbid, but I do wonder how many bones are around here, how many people were buried from this place, Walston Park Mental Asylum, it shut down many years ago. And like I said, it, it is really creepy in there. And we bought um, my my daughter-in-law to bed. Well, she was going to be my daughter-in-law. Um, we bought her a camera for her 21st birthday. And we brought her out here and she caught orbs in photos she definitely did and we were standing just up here we were but these fences weren't here these, we, this is double fenced too there were orbs flying around in her photos in several different photos and back then I just, I thought, ah, they're just spirits of the departed, like you do when you're dumb, well, not dumb, when you're not, not aware. Oh yeah, it's saying it's electrified. I bet you it's not. No. Nah. So, House of Horrors. It's just amazing. Sometimes, you know, it's worth looking back on footage and seeing if you can see things in it. I know I'm seeing some whack things in the sky today. Look at this. Can you see the colors? Yep. Barium, strontium, aluminum, lithium, pinkness. Look at that. Boom, 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 boom. Don't fear, guys. You know, the Father's been warning the world for so long. They're not listening. They're, some are. To have to, it, we can't come back from this. There is no nationwide repenting. There is no nationwide revival or worldwide revival that is going to happen. That is not going to happen. And we're told that. We are under judgment from our own actions. And we've all been a part of it. And here comes one of my nemesis. Yes, of course, a lawnmower. Here, of course. Why not? Oh. But guys, it is it is too late for nationwide repentance. It is individual repentance.
that is all that matters is your individual repentance and saying father I've stuffed up you know I've stuffed up everything everything good that he gave us and look what humans have done to it they had to create these things and lock people up like the criminally insane actually live just there so that's the old one but now this is where the criminally insane are kept so these just aren't bad people that should be in jail the ones right in this building in front of me and beyond that over there they're criminally insane father i pray for spiritual protection over myself over everybody watching this video i pray the blood of your son your son the one and only savior the one who gave his life as a ransom for us when we didn't deserve it I thank you for his holy, holy gift. And I pray the blood of him over everybody who watches this for their protection and that you count us all worthy. All who hear and listen to your words, count us worthy to escape all these things that are coming upon the earth. And that is the good news, Father. We know that, that if we accept you now, Oh, hallelujah, you will save us. You will save us. Somehow, some way. And that is the good news. That is the good news, guys. That is it. I mean, look at Bo. He's still going. He's just going so strong. Who would have thought, like, six months ago, I thought, oh my gosh, you know, he's going to be gone in a week and then a month ago I thought oh my gosh he's going to be gone in a week it, it is all God's time not our time and even this end time scenario that we find ourselves a part of that is very hard to believe that we are actually part of the end of the book oh wow this is just oh, wow um, my message is clear and I, I can't tell anybody to do anything because I'm no good I'm just one who heard his voice he kept yelling out to me I kept saying I'm fine I'm, I'm fine over here I'm fine down here by myself it's cool I can do this I've got it God you know I've got this no I didn't I had nothing. It very well could have been all taken away from me. My very life could have been taken from me. And I was not thankful for that which, which I was given. But with maturity and learning about him as the days went on, I gained thankfulness, I gained maturity in his word I can seriously see things what are these holes guys in this cloud this one I cannot see through that but I hope you can see what I'm seeing with my eyes my gosh what are they doing? What is this stuff? Oh, that is, that is like the super, the most super creepiest cloud I've ever seen. I can see things in that cloud, not the one coming over at the front now, the one underneath. Oh, look, I've just got to give my arms a rest. Hang on a minute. Whew. That's going to stay there. Just wait a minute. I've got to take my jumper off. Hang on. This is crazy. Stay with me here. I'm trying to take the cardigan off with one arm. OK. 
Okay, hang on. No, that cloud's covered it. Look at this. I mean, I didn't come out to do a sky video. Okay, this is one of the biggest whack jobs I've ever seen. You know, terraforming, terraforming, getting the um, environment ready for these ones to be able to inhabit it because, well, they already are. This stuff in those clouds up there. So guys, I'm just chewing on a fish oil capsule, believe it or not. <laughs> I don't swallow them, I chew the gelatin. And I found one in my pocket when I took my um, jumper off them. Um, no, this is seriously messed up. I, like I said, I didn't come out to do a sky video. But why can I see these holes and shapes in these clouds that I'm pointing at? These fingers. Oh wow, this is just bizarre. This is just so... Okay, I'm trying to get the sun out of it. Oh, these ones over here are starting to go completely insane. I'm at the asyl asylum. Is there any demons looking at us? I'd be surprised. But this... Oh, there's all holes Oh, wow. <sighs> Can somebody get a filter on this for me, guys? What am I seeing here? I'm not looking through the camera. I I'm looking at it and, oh. Poor. You know, that, that's just chemical composition in those clouds, making those colours. But what is manifesting in them? Like, okay, you've got the, you've got the, you know, pulsating frequencies, sure. But there's holes. There's like drips. Are these even clouds? Are they not just entities in themselves in their own right? I don't know. I do not know. We really don't, we can't say. I'm just amazed, just check it out. No, I wasn't banking on that. I was not. I came out just to show you guys this joint because I haven't been here for the longest time. And um, I'll pick my stuff up. I'll walk up the hill and show you the front side of this joint. The House of Horrors. The Sky of Horrors. Oh, praise Father in Heaven. You know, I keep saying, when you see the auroras all over the world, that's, that's it. That's him. That's his kingdom expanding on top of us. Father's kingdom getting bigger and bigger and bigger. 
they're going to go up to the sides of the north and fight with him. And now what are we hearing? We're hearing all the horror stories that Taiwan's going to get taken over. We're hearing horror stories that um, the US has given the Ukraine and UKEs, okay? Like, what do you believe? I think without any discernment and guidance, reading the news headlines and all those things would cause so much anxiety and stress, which is, well, we know that's what it is designed for, right? So why aren't we feeling anxiety and stress? Oh, hello. Hi, how are you? Good. You know, this is private property here. I'm just doing a bit of filming. Get down. It's still private property here. Yeah. Okay. Is that your vehicle there? Yep. Okay. I'll let you take a couple more shots and you'll have to leave. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, well, they don't like it. It's pretty dangerous, that place there. Well, I know you're not going to go in there, but... Oh, no. <laughs> wouldn't go in there. No, no. It's just for a documentary yeah. to YouTube. Oh, you could, I, I would just write to them and get authority and get some paperwork, yeah. Even just to walk around here? Correct, yeah. 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 There's a, the different things that go on and having dogs as well, yeah. Oh, yeah, they're, they're good. They don't leave my side. They're right with the ruse. But oh, oh, that's all. No, that's fine, mate. i just mate. write them a letter and say, yeah, I'm, I'm interested in doing that. Is it okay? And someone might meet you. It'd be good to be able to literally get permission to do it because I know somebody that did a documentary in there years ago. So, yeah, I, I don't think you can actually go in there. I don't even think there's floorboards. And probably not now. There was 10 years ago, but not now, probably, no. All right. All right. No, you're right. I'll, I'll respect that. Yeah. I'll get I'll going. I'll just write them a letter and say, yeah. Yeah. I'm interested in doing this. Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. That's a good idea. Okay. Yeah, because I saw keep out. That's fine. You wouldn't want to be trying to get in there anyway, would yeah. you? Oh, we get... It, it's got to be a blanket rule for everyone because you might mm. be okay, but the other mm. people come here and, and do go in there or yeah. try and get in there. Yeah, absolutely. So it's a blanket rule for everyone, yeah. No, not a problem. Okay. All right, have a good day. Yeah. See ya. <laughs> That's fine. That's the way it goes. Come on. And that's what you do. You just got to be respectful. I, You know, basically for the literal land to be um, on, you know, what I'm walking on, God's own land here. That's a bit weird.